you know, swim baits have become, you know, a standard bait. You know, a few years ago, a lot of guys said, ah, you know, that's kind of a phase. People are throwing these big baits, trying to catch these big fish. But, you know, what's happened is that all these different companies have come out with a lot of different styles of swim baits and, and a lot more rigging options. So, you know, just like that, you know, Strike King, we've done the same thing. You know, we've got uh, the hollow bodied Shadalicious, and then this year we came out with a new swim in caffeine shad. And, you know, it just really gives you all the options that you need depending on the, you know, the time of the year and the type of action you're looking for. You know, a hollow bodied uh, swim bait like a Shadalicious. It's a great bait, you know, if you're going to put it on a jig head or even on a, a belly weighted hook because it has a lot of side to side wobble to it. One of the things that I really like about this new swimming caffeine shad is it has kind of a unique action uh, compared to the Shadalicious. It's a, it's a bait that I can fish a lot faster. You know, the Shadalicious works best if you reel it at a slower pace. And, and that's great for a lot of situations, but what I found is I get a lot of follows. You know, you get a lot of that, you know, that bait's moving along nice and slow. It's got that side to side wobble. It pushes a lot of water. The vibration is what, you know, those fish home in on. And when they're eating it, it's great. But there's a lot of times they just like to follow it or they're coming up there and just bumping it. And that's where something that is built for a little more speed really comes in handy. And that's really what the caffeine shad uh, with the swimming tail really does. Now right here I've got it weighted on a, you know, or rigged on a Mustad belly weighted swim bait hook. It's got a screw lock on the front. Uh, it's got a little weight on it so I can keep it down. You know, I'm in a shallow flat here. There's scattered grass all around here. There's, you know, here's a nice little floating log in there. But this is something, you know, I can fish it real slow and it has that, you know, pretty good wobble to it, but I can also burn it, you know, through it. And, it, and rigged like this, I can fish it through the thickest cover. I can fish it through, you know, grass mats. You can almost use it like a frog on top if you want. So it fishes real well and it comes in two sizes, you know, just rigged just like this. I like to throw the five inch size, you know, it fits the, a five out hook real well. And again, I can fish it through, you know, this thick grass and, it, and it's a good size profile. So you're, you know, you're targeting those bigger fish. The smaller size works really good on the back of a swim jig, uh, works phenomenal for Alabama rigs. Uh, it also is, is something that I like to, um, uh, to fish on a spinning rod with a lighter jig head when they're, when they're chasing smaller shad. So it gives you, you know, it gives you a couple of different options. You know, another thing that I really like to do with this is I'll fish it on structure too. And so you can take a big bait like this, this five inch uh, bait, and I'll rig it on a half ounce or three quarter ounce jig head. And the same places, you know, that you're throwing a, a 6XD or, you know, a, a football jig on, you can do the same thing, you know, rigging it, Rigging it like that on a jig head allows you, again, that faster presentation. So typically what I'd like to do in the summer months when I'm throwing this is I want something that I can, you know, really make these fish react with. So instead of throwing a 3 8 ounce jig head out there and letting it sink to the bottom slow and just swimming it down through the school of fish, I want to try to make them react to it. So I'll, you know, half at a minimum or three quarter or even a one ounce head, cast it out there so it's sinking like a rock again so I can get that speed. When the water's warm, speed is what triggers a lot of bass to strike. So, you know, being able to take a, a swim bait like this and reel it real fast and then kill it, that's, you know, have it flutter down through them at a fast pace is a great way to trigger them. So those heavier jig heads rigged on something like this swimming caffeine shad can just be deadly. It's a tool that um, you have to have in your tackle box, you know. I mean, a few years ago, people thought, you know, when you're fishing shallow stuff like this, you throw a spinner bait. Now we have so many more options. You know, we've got swim baits, we've got square bills, we've got top waters, we've got frogs and things. So it's just another tool that you have to have in your tackle box. When the water's clear like it is in this situation, having something supernatural like that swimming caffeine shed it just is money. Hey man. How about that? They were really tight. Not bad. What was that? Do you see that? See what? Creep, did you forget to turn the hydrowave off again? Oh, it looks like I did. Don't worry, I got it. Thanks, bud. Creep! Sorry, guys. He never remembers. Give it up, Creep. What are you doing, dude? They're keepers.